Workflow management is critical, especially when you're dealing with a volume of customers. Tatango uses tasks and touch points to help you do this. In this video, we'll cover using success plays to either automatically or manually create tasks or the work to be done for your accounts. In our last video, Intro to Segments, we talked about slicing and dicing your customer data so that you can identify all of the needs of your customers. We also prepared a customer segment for at-risk customers, those with more than five open support tickets and a high contract value. Remember that a success block is meant to not only give you visibility into your customers, but also to enable you to act on what you see. One of the best ways to do that is with a success play. Success plays will automatically or manually, depending on their configuration, assign tasks or work to be done in certain situations. Let's take a look at the one that we've pre-populated in your trial instance. This particular success play is event-based, meaning that it will automatically create tasks or work to be done to the assigned success manager when certain situations are met. The selected criteria for this is that the contract renewal date is in the next 90 days and there are at least three unsolved support tickets for the account. You'll see that it then assigns three tasks to the success manager so that they can help manage the risk. You can also use success plays manually to build your best practices library. You can read more about this in our knowledge base. Providing your team with the workflow management and supportive framework to decide what action to take with their customers and when is critical, and success plays will help you do this. In our next video, we'll cover using campaigns for one-to-many communication with your customers.